Hello friends, welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video, we will talk about ECS service provided by Amazon. So without any further ado, let's get started with the session. So when you go to the ECS console, and if you haven't used it before, you'll be presented with this welcome screen here. And we'll have a get started button. So what we'll do now is just click on get started and it'll walk us through the getting started tutorial. And so there we can see a good diagram. Let's understand exactly how all these ECS objects work and relate to each other. So we can see, we're going to launch a cluster of compute services inside that they will be running as a single service with a task definition that will define what container and resources that we're going to be having inside of that service. So if we scroll down here, We'll just select the sample app. Here we could also select Nginx or Tomcat if we wanted. And we can see here, we've got our task definition. So here we've got that family name or task definition name. Then we've got the network mode. And here, this is going to be running on Fargate, so it's serverless. So the only network mode that's going to be available will be AAWS VPC. We're going to create a new task execution role and we're going to allocate 512 and 256 for memory and CPU. So here let's click on next. Now here, we can see that the diagram has changed. We've got a couple of ticks there, so we've defined that container and task. We're going to be using the sample app container and the task is going to be using that container. It's going to be launching on far gate and we've defined that it's going to be using VPC as its networking. And now what we need to do is, define our service. So here we need to define the number of desired tasks. So we've got here as one, and or the desired count. And what that does is, it will maintain that, so if that task becomes unhealthy, it will replace that task. And we're going to be creating a new security group, because it's only one task that's going to be running. We're just we don't need a load balancer, so we're just going to select none for that. And we'll click on next. Okay, now again our diagram here is changed. We've got another tick for service, and we now need to define our cluster that surrounds that service. Now as you can see here, we need to give it a name. So I think this is perfect for now. And that's all we need to do, it's going to automatically create a new VPC ID for us, and create subnets for us. So we click on next. And there we go, we can see everything's been done. We've defined our container, our task, it's going to be using that container, and what resources that we're going to be deploying to, which will be far gate, our service and what our desired count of tasks are going to be at any one time, and our actual cluster and the cluster name. And we'll create. Okay, so after a few minutes, we've got that up and running. Now let's view that service. So here remember, we have a cluster, and we have services of running on that cluster of resources. And so that's what we can see here. We've got no load balancer, because we only really had one compute resource available, so we didn't need to load balance. We've got some events here, so we can see here that it's reached a steady state, and everything should be fine. So because we've got our service up and running, everything looks fine. So one thing we need to check is, whether those tasks that are running inside of that service actually working. So let's click on tasks and select that task ID. Don't click on the task definition. So now here we can see the status of it. So that container status is running. So we should actually have a web application up and running now. So we can look at this network here and we can see that we've got a public IP address. So if we select that and go to it, there we can see we've got our Amazon ECS sample application. So it's pretty cool. So we've run through, we've we've defined a task that task has defined a container from the Elastic Container Registry, and it has deployed that across compute resources that are running as a service. And all that needs to happen now is that we just need to clean that up. So we just go back to Amazon ECS, and the way we do that is, we go to the cluster. Now we've got two sections here for clusters, ECS and EKS. So let's go to ECS cluster. Now go into our cluster and simply delete that cluster. So after a few minutes, that will be deleted. 
I hope you all guys enjoyed this session. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.